Hi Chris here from Truly Holistic, it was uh, time for an update video. In this video we're going to talk about a few things that have been occurring here at Truly Holistic and some new scenarios that I've been dowsing on and working on and getting some really good success with um, and things that have been coming up quite a bit. Um, in particular, uh, the whole idea of consciousness has been coming up quite a bit of late. This kind of stemmed upon, I, I had a conversation with um, uh, the Blue Avians and I was just doing a bit of dowsing and uh, wanted to know what was going on in the solar system you know, and outside of our planet and, and uh, I, channel, uh, it was, I was asked to channel the Blue Avians and these are a, a type of being that uh, like a 8 foot blue bird type of being a hominid type of being, two arms, two legs but a head of a bird and if anybody follows Corey Good and uh, David Wilcock and Cosmic Disclosure, then they'll be aware of this particular type of being. This being is a very high density being uh, who is really into spirituality, and uh, the you know they've got to a density where it's not all about power anymore, and it's it's more about wisdom, and uh, they are trying to usher us through this ascension process. Uh, obviously, they can't directly get. Um, involved, but uh, they are helping the human faction in regards to this whole ascension process, the alliance, and in regards to taking over the cabal or the Illuminati uh, human faction on the planet. They are being controlled by some of these beings that are really just manipulating us like the reptilians. Anyway, I spoke to, spoke to them and, um, and I said, you know, what's happening in, in the solar system? They said, well, the reptilians still have control of the solar system. That That is the big issue. And I said, well, what, what is needed to remove this control? And essentially, it's this whole uh, solar flash to occur, which is going to uh, enable uh, a new upgrade of energy to us and new abilities, which is this whole ascension process, which is going to enable us to have the abilities to shred off this control and be able to have control of our own destiny, be more loving, get rid of all the f hate and fear that this whole solar system is really being enveloped with because of the reptilian beings. And then the next question was, well, what can we do? You know, until that occurs, and I tell you, ascension process is really heating up. It's really moving forward very quickly. Uh, and I got uh, a bit of an update in regards to that today, which we'll talk about in a minute. But um, what we can do is, and what the Blue Avians were telling us, we need to open up our own consciousness and remove what's controlling our consciousness. So since I got that message, when I'm doing sessions with people, this is, topic has been coming up quite regularly. Um, it's directing me to people's consciousness, removing all the uh, uh, negative energies, uh, especially witchcraft from people's um, consciousness and any entities, whether they're archons, reptilians, and so on. Uh, and trying to keep the consciousness open, get people more controlled in it, and then all of a sudden finishing that off with a protection of a firmament. And that's been really working really well, uh, establishing a, a, and intending a firmament. You might have seen in a previous video talking about protection um, and the firmament. If you just Google search or YouTube search on, about firmament, you'll get an understanding of what that's all about. It's kind of like a dome or a bubble, uh, and I use it in a way of protecting that part of the body. So. Once we clear out all the rubbish out of people's consciousness, get that consciousness open, connect it to source, connect it to the seventh dimension, then re-establishing a, a, a source firmament, firmament around that which will protect it from any manipulation. So that's been working really well. Um, other things uh, in regards to, uh, I got a, some information today in regards to <clears throat> the ascension process. Working on someone today, I had to clear out uh, um, Archon control from this particular client. And again, we're working within this client's consciousness. And I got the uh, comment that uh, Archons are well known or famous for using witchcraft within people's consciousness. And uh, then all of a sudden, I asked upon, do we need to protect this person's consciousness? And then the comment came out that, well, the Archons are actually finding it very hard to get access into humanity at the moment because the ascension process is speeding up so well and speeding so quickly. So that's a good sign that you know uh, the vibration of the solar system, vibration of humanity is rising and these beings are finding it 
harder and harder to try and control us. So that's that's a good sign. Uh, obviously, we all want this ascension process to move as fast as it can because we're just fed up of the control of these beings like the Archons and the Reptilians, but uh, we are making progress. We are winning the war and winning this battle. Uh, the Alliance has have also got more information in regards to the Alliance is um, doing a great job in removing uh, the Cabal out of control. Uh, again, I got that information from uh, the Blue Avians, so uh, everything is progressing well. Uh, we've just got to sit tight and do the best we can do, loving thoughts, uh, service to, to, you know, to, to, to others and, and, and so on. So, um, Other things I want to talk about in this video is um, uh, I've been using more channels in regards to uh, guidance in a healing session with a particular client. Uh, and that will be specific to the client. I don't just, uh, I have a, a chart I've set up uh, where I go for assistance. And it's been there for quite some time, that chart. And every now and then when I feel like I'm getting a bit stuck with using my own source, uh, which is the new name for soul now, um, I get a, we, we kind of hit a wall. And, and then I go to my assistance chart to find if I can find a channel that's going to give me some answers that maybe my source doesn't have the wisdom to give. Uh, now what I'm doing is I'm using that assistance chart every day and uh, at the start of a session, if you're having a session with me, you'll notice that I go, uh, you know, who is the best person for the answers for the session? And on my assistance chart, I have a number of things, uh, Blue Avians being one. And I, I notice I really only get connection with Blue Avians really when I'm we're talking about solar system and universal stuff. In sessions, what I'm finding a lot, I'm connecting up with the Ancient Mind Civilization group, which has been fantastic. They've been giving me great information and guidance to finding and, and, and helping people with their health problems. Um, also, another one has been uh, Dr. Cornelius, which is uh, from the other side, from the uh, energetic plane or uh, realm, let's say, has been really helping me, especially on physical ailments with, with clients. Um, he's been a real help. Another one has been Sentinel. Uh, Sasquatch has been another one that I've been channeling. Uh, they've been really good as well. Occasionally, I still use my source, um, and every now and then we have to channel even the client source uh, to enable the answer to, to come up because this is all detective work. You know, this whole um, paradigm or modality that I use, it's all about. Uh, opening the doors, um, unlocking all the puzzles and, and, and getting to the answer as soon as possible so we can help that person as soon as possible. Um, ancestors came up, that was another one that came up. Um, but a lot of the time it's, yeah, another one is collective consciousness of the Sumerians, that comes up quite a bit. I do channel them, I do channel the mind civilization group quite often. Sentinel has come up a few times. Nikola Tesla is also on that list. And he's given me some information as well. So uh, it will be specific to what the client's needs are and uh, who I uh, channel within the session. It's been working really well anyway. Um, other updates is calcification issues with people. Um, been really finding transmuting inorganic minerals to organic. And what that's all about is uh, inorganic minerals are minerals that the body can't break down and utilize and excrete it out of the body becomes a problem. And that's not only calcium. Calcium does come up majority of the times, but minerals like inorganic sodium, uh, iron does come up every now and then, and certain other minerals um, do come up that accumulate in the body and causes issues in the body on a physical level. So by transmuting them from inorganic, inorganic form to organic form, then all of a sudden the body can utilize them and excrete them out of the body uh, safely. So that's been really good. Uh, as I said, the, um, using firmament to, as for protection has been working really, really well. Um, sometimes we need to reestablish the firm, firmament, especially if it's been ruptured or damaged by a particular entity that's just been very persistent. But uh, overall, it's been working really well uh, in regards to protection. And um, uh, rupturing devices, uh, energy weapons have been coming up still, which we clear up. Um, you know, uh, Saturn rings, vibration, uh, mercury plasma weapons coming up a lot in regards to that. Uh, Kuiper belt uh, weapon as well, uh, and a number of other things. Uh, Wi-Fi has come up a few times with some clients as well. 
uh, and organite's a great thing to have around the house to transmute that into a more of an energy, a high um, positive energy vibration. But um, I think that's essentially it. Oh, another few, uh, a few other things is um, uh, night tremors. Now, if anybody has issues with night tremors, uh, I uh, or terrors, um, I've had an issue uh, with my son uh, with night terrors, and uh, it's all about just checking the vibration of uh, their room, their bedroom, when they're going to sleep at night. Um, if it's in a low dimensional um, state, so if it's in the first dimension or second dimension, just need to reconnect it to, to the dimension of love, the seventh dimension, reconnect it back to source. Sometimes there'll be a, a demonic entity there present. Once you clear all that out, out, all of a sudden, 10 minutes later, they're back to sleep. Um, and it's a really horrible thing to go through. Uh, anyone watching this that they know of children that go through this, very much like a panic attack. Uh, where they're in a state where they're not really awake, they're still asleep, but they're just screaming, and um, and they're uh, you know just in a, such an emotional state that they just can't settle themselves down. But um, I noticed, yeah, once you reestablish the connection back to the seventh dimension to the source, remove all the demonic entities and any attachments there, all of a sudden uh, that child can all of a sudden reestablish and, and get control of their emotions again. And within 10 minutes, they can back it back to sleep and sleep fantastic for the rest of the night. So that's been very interesting as well. And also another thing we're going to finish off with is um, bringing quite a few people now coming to me with some really severe issues, you know, cancer, stage four cancer, uh, and some of these really uh, com complicated, complex uh, illnesses is that usually at the core of it is trauma that that person has held for a very long time you know we hear about it a lot of the times don't bottle up our emotions and sadly we do this you know we have traumatic episodes that may have happened earlier in our life and we haven't really been able to deal with it we're trying to put it away deep within our own consciousness our subconsciousness our, our energy body our source and then if that issue is there then uh, negative beings, negative entities know how to manipulate that to cause a health problem in you and then all of a sudden cancer and some really comp uh, complicated, uh, really severe issues can be manifested from that into the physical body. So I've been really going into uh, trauma a lot, uh, deep core trauma within clients and also clearing out a lot of emotional problems and that seems to be a primary issue in regards to why people have cancer and a lot of these really severe problems so um, please come and book an appointment here at Truly Holistic go to my website at trulyholistic.net um, and if you've got a really complex problem you'll definitely need three sessions, six, maybe even more but um, we can really deal, uh, deal with it, work on the physical plane but as well as the traumatic and the energetic plane which is really manifesting that problem to start off with as a primary issue so Anyway, um, things are changing a lot here and uh, I'll keep you updated with what comes my way. Thank you.